Hello everyone, it's Carly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sitting in my living room once again and I thought that I would just do a chatty little video about how I budget and grocery shop for me and Sebastian. Um, I've done a video quickly like this before where I just mentioned like our budget and showed you some of the stuff that I picked up. Um, but instead of just, like focusing on what I get, I thought that I would focus on how I get it and what things go into like my planning when I am going to go grocery shopping. I hope that you guys find some tips and value from this video. If you do, give the video a huge thumbs up. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my content. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for 700. Um, it's so fun to see it grow. So if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so that you never miss a video. And with that being said, let's just hop right in. Before we start, I thought I would just do a super quick fast overview of why I do my grocery shopping this way. I used to just go to the grocery store like every day, every time we needed to make dinner or I needed an ingredient or I just was never prepared. So I found myself always running to a Target or Smith's right after work just to pick something up. And I found over time that I was spending so much money because I was buying triple of things or double of things that we already had, or I wasn't like properly thinking things out and just grabbing like quick fixes for things and spending more money that way. Or I was just getting frustrated and we were just going to Chipotle every single day. So I had to make a change and that's when I found Jordan Page here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below if you guys are interested. And she is like very budget savvy, like hack mom system, just like everything. I really enjoy her content even though it's very focused on like moms and if you have kids and stuff like that, but I still find a lot of value from her videos and she talks a lot about these tips that I'm going to be sharing with you today. I have had to tailor them for my specific lifestyle just because we don't have children. It's just me and Sebastian here, so I had to tweak some things and I know my audience um, is kind of in the same boat as me, either single or dating someone, maybe not living together. I don't know, you're either like a one or two person family. Um, so I thought that you guys would enjoy it and it's helped so much. It's made like our week so much better. It's made our, I call it like my stock so much better of our house. Like I just feel so much more prepared. I make healthier dinners at home. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a quick overview of like how I got introduced to this. Again, she goes way in depth of things if you want to check those out. Um, this is just kind of my version. Okay, so I have a couple notes here so I don't forget. But the first thing I would recommend you do when you're trying to like up your grocery game and like budget and stuff like that is to sit down and talk with your spouse if you have one um, and just figure out what your budget is. Figure out what you're comfortable spending each week. When me and Sebastian started this, we decided on $50 weekly, so $25 for both of us. And it's totally doable. It was insane how much I could get for $50. Now keep in mind this didn't include like any household items. I would always do that separately. And that's why as of recently we've decided to up our budget for our groceries just because we're very comfortable spending a little bit more um, because we found that when I first started doing this I was focused on setting a meal plan for dinner. So I was getting everything for dinner but then I didn't take it into account that like you know, we eat lunch here during the weekends, we like snack throughout the day, like it just wasn't really making sense. I felt like we were only buying things for dinner and then we'd have nothing else throughout the house um, for the rest of the day, which was not great. So we decided to up it to $50 per person per week, so then that's $100 weekly. And that has been working wonderfully. We get snacks, we get lunch stuff, all my dinner stuff, as well as like household cleaning products when we run out here and there. Um, and it's great. I love it. And I think that that's like what has helped us the most is just sitting down, talking with your spouse, figuring out what's doable for you guys. And then you can go from there on how are you going to map this out and what you're going to get at the grocery store and all that stuff. The next thing, um, once you figure out what you're able to spend, now you have to figure out what you're going to get. And that's like one of my favorite parts. I will just like sit down on a Saturday, take like an hour, and I will look through my pantry to figure out what we have, what we can use up, and then I'll build out my meal plan from there. And that's my tip, like look through your pantry before you go to Pinterest and before you go to these cookbooks, because if you just go straight to the internet to find recipes, you'll realize you'll write everything down from that recipe and then you'll forget to look like, oh, do I even have corn or whatever, like do I already have that ingredient? So that's what I start off first. I will look through my pantry and I'll see, okay, I have 
tomatoes and corn and yada 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 and then what I'll do is I will plug it into this app called um, all recipes that you can either use an app or they have just like a desktop version whatever is easier for you so this is what it looks like and what I'll do is I will search let's say canned tomatoes so I just chucked in canned tomatoes and you can see just all of these recipes come through um, and that just helps to see like okay you can make a tomato alfredo or chili or burrito bowls like there's just so many options and if you do it that way then then you know okay I'm using what I already have instead of buying something from the store it's fun to like create you know recipes that you've never had and I totally get using like fun new ingredients but when it comes to like staples in your pantry I know we all have those certain staples of like cans pastas rices stuff like that when you have when you take a look and you use those first that's saving you money because you're not having to buy those at the grocery store so that is like my number one tip I will go through my pantry see what we have and just start crafting recipes with the help of the app that I showed you all recipes and you can also plug in corn recipes or stuff like that um, into Pinterest as well and then you can get your inspiration that way. So that is what has helped me the most is just being able to shop my pantry first then head to the grocery store. I kind of touched on this already but once you're done shopping through your pantry then you can go to Pinterest. I use Pinterest all the time. I don't have any cookbooks here at my house. I just use Pinterest. I find that it's the easiest. Um, I would love to like pick up cookbooks. If you guys have any recommendations I will leave some that like I've been eyeing for a bit in my description. Um, but yeah whatever way that you find recipes whether it's your mom or Pinterest or a favorite cookbook just make sure you're searching through your pantry first and then you can get your inspiration from those books and then just buy any additional ingredients that you need at the store. Now I like to have my just store list kind of hanging out on my counter at all times. I will just leave it on this notepad because throughout the week um, I'll have like situations where I'm making peanut butter toast and then I run out of honey and then I forget about it because when I'm building out my meal plan I'm just strictly focusing on those ingredients that I'm needing to pick up for those meals. So things like body soap or just house cleaning stuff or little ingredients that you use every single day that, um, can easily be forgotten and so I love to just have my store list out whether that's on a notebook like me or if you have a chalkboard or if you have a whiteboard stuck to your refrigerator whatever it is just have your store list handy that way you can always be adding things when they're on your mind and so going back to the meal plan once I get to this um, day I will usually do this like an hour or two or even the night before I go to the grocery store just depends on what my week is like but I will write this down on my notepad and this meal plan is a little bit different to normal ones because we are doing very like healthy living right now so we're doing a lot of nourish bowls a lot of power bowls and stuff like that um, so there's not a ton of variety on our meal plan at this time uh, so yeah it's just a little bit different but whatever works for you and whatever meals you're excited to create just throw them on your meal planner and it's exciting to see them throughout the week and you know kind of what you're planning for so this is just like a quick snapshot of my meal planner I will just write out the dinner meals here we don't worry about lunch or anything like that uh, just because I get lunch at work, Sebastian can figure out his lunch, we usually have leftovers, stuff like that. So we'll just um, focus on meals as well as snacks down here. And the snacks is something new that I've been doing, but I've actually been loving it. It's kind of sound, it, it kind of sounds funny, but whenever there's like healthy snacks for us to eat, sometimes when you're busy in a rush, like you don't really know, at least for Sebastian, he doesn't know what I've gotten at the store. So it's if like granola bars are tucked away, in a cupboard it's like he can look through them but at the same time if he's starving he's just gonna pick out something that he sees so I have like a nice little cute basket that has all of our um, like healthy snacks and stuff just so that way like we're aware of what we have and like it's just easier I know it sounds super crazy but it's just easier to grab and go and we just have like a busier lifestyle so it's just easier um, for us to know what we have and that way everything's getting getting eaten nothing's being pushed back um, in the back of a cupboard like it's just nice and easy um, and like fruit and stuff we always have like in the front of the refrigerator so you just open it it's right there um, and that helps a ton as well when you're snacky and it's just easier to grab those healthier things if they're already prepped and ready for you um, and so the snacks down here 
are also like specific things that I'll make. So I made like a yogurt strawberry bark um, as well as just like I have this like cottage cheese snack that I make like if it's like written out for me then I know oh okay like I have that available to make rather than standing in front of my fridge being like what am I gonna make it sounds crazy writing down like little things like that but it helps a ton especially when you're super busy and you don't have time to like think of what to make right on the spot when you've already taken time to like plan it out it makes it much easier um so yeah i will just write out the days of the week that we will be here eating at our house i will always factor in a day for leftovers i always factor in a day as well of eating out because no matter how hard we try everyone has that day where you're just so busy you have no time to make dinner or the chicken isn't thawed or something comes up where you just have to eat out so I'd rather like account for it in the future rather than like beat myself up about it and like I don't know like it's just easier to plan it if it's on there so I always usually our weekends are when we eat out so I'll plan it on there and then um, throughout the week we'll have like leftovers and so this has been such a game changer for me I love my meal planner I put it out for Sebastian and it's cute he'll like put little notes like it's just so cute I always say yay when we've like completed it, it just makes me feel good knowing like okay we stuck to this we stuck with our budget um, we didn't go eat out a ton like and he'll always write little notes like oh he's so cute um, so we've just had fun with it and I it yeah I just have really enjoyed it and then lastly I just wanted to talk about a, an, a little extra app that I use to save some money because we all want to save money um, and so I have been using when I go to the grocery store I use the app Ibotta I don't know how to say it um, but it's just an app I'm pulling it up so this is an app that I use right before I go to the grocery store to find things that are already on my list that might be on sale or that I'll get money back for buying. So you can see they have lots of different stores, Target, Walmart, Smith's, wherever you shop, they have Trader Joe's, um, and you will just type in whatever store you're going to. So like if you go to Target, you can look through um, what's ever on offer. And then for example, if you buy like this pack of waffles, you'll get 25 cents back and like it sounds little to get like only 25 cents back and I'm like whatever But it all adds up and I have had 20 like every time your account gets to $20 You just put it straight to your Venmo. So I've had that happen before I've gotten to cash out on this app It works. It's like legit real money that you're earning back and just like scanning your receipt helps you get money and just lots of household items and ingredients and just like little things that you don't really think of you can get money back for them and if you're already buying them anyway you might as well take 10 minutes to look through this app to make sure you're picking things up that could potentially save you money and help you even earn money back um it's totally worth it and i've been loving this app like i said i've cashed out before so i can vouch for you guys that you really do get your money back and it's just fun it's fun to find these extra ways to earn money back save that money um, on things that you'd already be buying anyway. So I would definitely check out that app if you're interested. Okay, so those are all of my little tips. That's exactly what I do when I am trying to build out our meal plan and grocery shop for the week. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, it wasn't me focused on what I got from the store. If you guys would like to see like a shop with me, kind of the meals that I make and the things that I pick up, leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to do that for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give the video a huge thumbs up up and I will see you in my next one. Bye!